And here we are back. So, I've completed all the side quests of the slums of um, Sector 6. So I think it is time for the show right now. From what I understood. Uh, oh, the map please. No, the map please. Okay. So it also like, took time to eat something. Which, uh, so that's pretty good. I made a hamburger. Like, nothing fancy, but with like some chorizo and meat. So yeah, both mixed together are pretty good. No! Cloud! Finally! Tifa! She... I... Tifa! She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I could call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? Mm -hmm. I said... The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bam, bam, whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. Huh? Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but, uh... I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! Okay. <clears throat> okay, okay. So here we are again, finally. You again? Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. He's pretty straightforward, like, yeah. Do it if you want, but <laughs> I don't advise you to do so. <sighs> I was expecting Aerith to be here. Or maybe. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh. 
Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. <sighs> I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Mm hmm Don't tell me he's gonna have to dress up. Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you? Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. him to give you his stamp of approval you said you didn't want me going alone right well with Andrea's help you can join me it'll be fun and honestly I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress what oh no it's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone at least that's what Madame M said trust me this is gonna work out great oh no uh, come on don't you want to save Tifa wait no can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? <sighs> Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Wait. Oh. Okay. So, you a top side? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. I've dreamt of this moment. The honeybee is. I'm scared. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! <laughs> okay... Oh, it's another minigame. Oh... <laughs> Oh. Perfection. Oh no. What what is this? Come to town. 
Yes. <laughs> Take it away, honey. I just want to have the food perfect. <laughs> Ah. Too early. Work it, honey. Fuck, I knew it. I have to do it again. I want the food perfect. Or maybe I can't. Real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Hmm. Well, whatever. It's just practice. Come on, come on! The show's about to start! Oh. <laughs> my, my! Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you? Mm -hmm. You just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flushing. It can be bitter, but we can make it all so sweet. Here at the Honey Bee, in every moment is a treat. My favor must first prove that they know how to move. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. 
It's hard to do the game, try to actually see the scene, you know? Not too bad. I love it. <laughs> Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin. God. Tries to run away. How loud! Now that was a show. <laughs> Please don't. Not a word. Not even one. No. But you're so pretty. What this game is for fuck's sakes. I've no clue where to go, but yeah. Like, 
Isn't that the animation of Ares? I think it's the same animation. No, it's not. Okay. Maybe it's Tifa's. Well, never expected to see Cloud in that outfit. It's gonna be fun to see like the reaction of the guards again. <laughs> Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the wall. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madam M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. We've been waiting for you to show. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. Huh? <clears throat> What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Come on. Damn it. Cloud. Hey, pretty lady, too. Feeling a little lightheaded? Got a cane on that. Let's say we escort you to the parlor so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now. Not too crazy. Hey, you had to repair that. Oh, the hell? You want to throw down the Corneo curve? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. Man, it's really got some real lookers this time, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <laughs> You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I got what I came for. What? So. After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here. Right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? 
Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. I don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Checkbox. Tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? I think that's gonna be fun. What's gonna happen? Just a question though, he does a combat, Cloud doesn't have his sword, like Ari doesn't have the staff, and she doesn't have the gloves. Question mark? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm checking the weapons. No, this one doesn't seem great. This is just completely broken, this. 
Should have kept it. God damn it. Yeah, I should have kept this weapon. It's way better. Yeah, it's better in all, almost all forms. Has a bit less... It has a bit, a bit less, like... Magic attack, but it has so much more everything else. <laughs> okay. And with the thing like the double cast thing, it's gonna be good, very good. Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Da Corneo. Ladies. Uh. Mm. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. Tomorrow's or the day afters, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. We. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh. You're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to. Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. 
Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Colosseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> oh, you stupid! Oh, wait! <laughs> It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you. Let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time because of like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky. What are you doing here? Hey, ain't you two the reject? Can you take over for me? Too late. It's over. <sighs> Okay, so Tifa is uh, up to level as well. That's very, very well balanced to say. What a you bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh. 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 <gasps> so you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Cause if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> it was the Director of Public Security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash him. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. 
Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Mm. Oh, I'm sorry! Time's up! The answer lies... In the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells. <laughs> That's at the hot time. Well, the sewers must be an even faster way to go back to Sector Seven. Maybe. What a change are of tone. The, schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000. <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <laughs> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Ah, uh, it doesn't work. Tifa? Back to the slums right now. Yeah. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it. Sure, there isn't something else going on? Mm.
That is ugly as fuck. Did he go? You bet, bring it on. Ah, she doesn't have the revive. Fuck. <sighs> okay, up and out. No need to pee. You're up. Taking over.
can do it. I got this. Hang back. better in a second. So slow. I'm gonna die out of this. Which one? Which one? Can you fight? Probably Corneo's pet. When we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? 
right? Mm. Hmm? Uh, uh, Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche saying, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find that first. Lead the way. They're nothing. Maybe I should try the new weapon of Cloud. Yeah, it loses a lot of everything, but let's see. Yeah, just losing a bit of magic and defense. Looks weird though, like I'm not used to this. But let's see if it makes any difference of um, like, you know, making damages. I have no clue what it means on the weapon though. I expect it to be Japanese. And the issue is I went to Japan and I don't know what it is. That's <laughs> even worse. Might deal a lot of more damages. That wasn't so bad. But yeah, it wasn't the same enemy. Yeah. I've got this. Don't you mean you got this? I'm ending this. 